Hi everybody, this is Salesforce Jen and I like to talk about Experience Cloud. This is a more advanced video. We are currently in what we call the builder. Today I want to talk about site redirects and why you would use them. I have created this sample site just for this video. I go back to the home page. I've added a sample page to the menu. If you click on the sample page, it would take you somewhere. But we're going to say, I don't want people to access that anymore. We could go back here and remove it from the menu. We're just going to completely take it off the menu. I'm going to hit publish. Publish is the same as save. But if you had sent out emails or previously given somebody that URL, they can still access it. I'll show you how. I am going to refresh my page here where I took it off. But if I had the URL, which I already knew what it was, I can still get to the page. Well, what I would like to happen is instead of them getting to this page when they have this URL, I would like it just to take them back to the home page. I'm going to show you how to do that today. I'm going to move this aside. The first thing you need to do, of course, is remove any references to it on the home page or wherever you have it. And if you have links that other people have had, old links, you can update them. We are in the builder. If I go up here to the top left, I need to go into the administration settings, which I have already done. From administration settings, you'll see on the left side says URL, URL redirects. That is a very complicated way to do it, and it's using a file. I'm going to show you a very easy way to do it. You're going to go to the pages tab on the left, and then on the right side towards the bottom, you go to the go to com studio okay and i've already done that and that took me here now i am in the ugly classic interface but this is the easiest way to do it when you first arrive it's going to look something like this site content i clicked site configurations on the left the carrot opened up more and then i'm going to click on redirect and it says i haven't created any and it's right so i'm going to hit create and you're going to use relative urls that means if i'm looking at this i just want everything past the slash i know that that is the sample url grabbed okay so it has no nope, we don't want the whole thing we're just going to get the slash sample because it knows, it's it's assuming you're in the same site, but where is it going, it doesn't know. I wanna make it permanent. I do have a few options here. All I want it to do is go back to the home page, which is just a flash. I wanna make it active and I'm gonna hit save. Right now, nothing has changed. If I go back here and I refresh and go back to that sample page, I can still get there. And that is because I have not published those changes. On the top right, I'm gonna click publish changes and I'm gonna go and follow through and say yes. Um, Okay, and I'm going to hit publish. It'll take a minute and then it'll go into effect. Now what I see, if I go over here and I had that direct URL or I clicked on it, as soon as I hit enter, it directed me to the home page. Now I could have it go to another page on the site. If I had several, I could go anywhere I want. But it's a very simple way to do a redirect. And especially if, if you've sent out newsletters or let's say you have an experienced cloud portfolio of your own and you had a page with something that you had shared with somebody with projects, but now you've renamed the page or you've moved the page. This is a good use case for that. You create those URL, URL redirect. Again, you go to your administration settings, go to pages, go to site.com studio. From there, you're going to find the URL redirects. You're going to create it and then you're going to publish it. Now, what happens if I did it and I changed my mind? Well, I'm just going to hit delete, or maybe you only wanted it temporarily. Once it deletes it, it's still there until I hit publish. So we're going to hit publish, follow the prompts again. It will require something here. You hit publish, and then I'm going to bring my incognito over. And the reason I'm using incognito is because I'm already logged into on the other browser, and it will not show correctly. It'll show me as a logged in user if I don't go incognito. So now we're going to go back to the sample page, and guess what? I'm able to get to it. So that is how you do a redirect. Let me know if you have any questions.